And with that, we will um, go to the salute of the flag. Madam Clerk, would you lead us in the salute to the flag, please? Please join me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Madam Clerk. And with that, we will go to the roll call. Bob Lucy, Chair, present via Zoom, I believe. Mr. Chair? Present. Thank you. Present. Vice Chair Marsha Burke Bigler? Here. Kitty Jung? Present. Von Hartung? Here. Jeannie Herman? Here. County Manager Eric Brown? Here. Deputy District Attorney Nate Edwards? Here, via Zoom. Thank you. This is Nancy Parent, your county clerk. You have a quorum, Madam Chair, Madam Vice Chair. Thank you very much. And with that, we will go to public com comment, Mr. Chair, uh, Mr. Manager. Yes, public comment, comment heard under this item uh, will be, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> will be limited to three minutes per person and may pertain to matters both on and off the commission agenda. The commission will also hear public comment during individual action items with comment limited to three minutes per person. Comments are to be made to the commission as a whole. Madam Clerk, do we have any email comments? We have none. Okay, uh, anything on Zoom? All right, in that case, we see no public comments, so we'll close it, bring it back to the board, and we move on to item four, Mr. Manager. Item four is commission, commissioners and county manager announcements. Um, Reports and updates to include boards and commission updates, requests for information or topics for future agendas. Mr. Manager, do you have anything? I have nothing this morning. Okay, um, commissioners, I'm not seeing anybody. Commissioner Lucy, or uh, Chair Lucy, do you have anything this morning? No, madam, I do not. Uh, Commissioner Jung. No, thank you. Commissioner Hartung. Nothing, Madam Chair, thank you. Okay, seeing no comments here at, uh, at the commission chambers, we will close um, item four and move on to item five, Mr. Manager. Item five is the declaration of canvas of the vote and order for the 2020 primary election per NRS 293.387, registrar of voters. This morning we have our registrar of voters, Deanna Spicula. Good right, morning, Ms. Spicula. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Welcome. Chair, Vice Chair. Um, and good morning to all the, the commissioners. Um, I guess we'll just jump right into it. We're here today so, to um, um, do a brief presentation of um, the election and then the canvas of the vote. So if we can. Oh, okay. All right, so as we approached uh, going into our primary election this year, um, we also had some uh, things that we were implementing um, that were through legislative <coughs> changes and those types of things. Um, a couple of the big ones that were impacting our department was the automatic voter registration initiative petition that had passed in, in um, I believe in 2018. <clears throat> Um, by ballot, and then the implementation of the same day registration, which was passed in the last legis legislative session. Um, we also had some internal goals that our office wanted to accomplish to implement um, so we could better serve our, our, our voters and our citizens of the county. Um, one was to um, implement an interactive sample ballot instead of a static PDF for electronic viewing of a sample ballot. Um, we launched our Adopt a Polling Place program and um, really pushed and went into reaching out to businesses and organizations to engage them in becoming poll workers and adopting one of our polling places. Um, we uh, worked with our GIS department internally to develop both a wait times app and um, the results reporting dashboard, uh, which I believe so far I've heard nothing but wonderful feedback um, on those two items. Everyone seems to be extremely excited that we have those now. Um, so they can see results and review um, our, out, our turnout as we're going along and receive, um, be able to see that at a glance. <clears throat> a 
However, um, as we got closer to running the election, the COVID-19 pandemic um, kind of threw us a curveball, And so we switched, um, and this was in conjunction with every other county clerk in the state and the office of the Secretary of State. Um, we decided that we needed to do an all-mail election to uh, serve our citizens and protect their health and safety. So um, as we proceeded running this election, we went into going into the primary with um, a little over 291,000 registered voters. And the party breakdown, as you can see, is um, it's very close. Um, we're pro pretty much split almost. Um, the Democratic Party now has the majority in, in Washoe County, uh, but the Republicans are, are very close as well. Um, what we saw jump in was um, either minor party or nonpartisan registrations. Um, that seems to be the one who is the groups that have gained more traction um, of, of lately. However, as we're going into a presidential um, election, we might see that um, switch again. <clears throat> as for our election statistics, um, for our turnout, our overall turnout was 95,824 votes cast. Um, that's 32.88% turnout for a um, presidential primary election, which is a very good turnout. I'm very pleased to see that. Um, there's the party breakdown, as you can see. Um, again, fairly split, pretty even as far as Democratic and Republican turnout, um, with minor party being the, the third highest, or I'm sorry, not non, minor party and nonpartisan being the third highest uh, category. Um, for Early voting and election day, um, we saw an in-person turnout of a little over 3,000 voters. The majority of our voters um, chose to vote the mail-in ballot that we had mailed them, and that, that total is 92,720 uh, people who cast their ballot by mail. Early voting, um, in accordance with our um, guidelines for social distancing and protecting the health and safety of our voters, and our poll workers and county staff, we had one polling location that was located at the county complex. Um, we had 19 early voting workers and those were switched um, in between two weeks. We had um, our intake workers, a manager and assistant manager. We also had people um, who were there to greet and assist people um, coming in and line control. Um, also somebody who was sanitizing machines and equipment as uh, voters were being processed um, through our, our polling location. Um, again, on election day, we had one location at the same place at our county complex. Uh, this polling location was adopted by the comptroller's office. It was our first adopt a polling place um, group for county workers, um, and the comptroller staff um, mainly <coughs> manned that polling location for election day. It was a busy day, as I'm sure everyone knows from the, the lines that we had. However, their team was extremely efficient and processed people extremely quickly. I couldn't be more proud of, of them jumping in and assisting us. And um, really, again, that's kind of, I think, a testament to the county that our, our employees at the county <coughs> are um, eager to help and willing to jump in and assist any department whenever they need, um, whenever they feel there's a need. Um, again, mail-in ballot processing, number of ballots issued was a little over 292,000 ballots. Uh, number of returns was the 92,720. Um, it's an extremely uh, large return for mail-in ballots. Uh, our team, um, everyone that, that came and helped, uh, really helped us process those ballots in a timely manner. So we were able to keep up with checking those ballots in, doing signature verification, doing challenges, and then prepping those ballots to be scanned. <clears throat> county employees, this is again um, a list of the county employees who volunteered to help us in, in uh, various areas of our office. And this is um, a special thanks to our poll workers who instead of working at a polling location um, came into our office to do very, uh, various uh, duties such as uh, working in our call center, um, helping with duplication or adjudication of ballots and also just um, sorting and opening and every, um, every process for a mail-in ballot from beginning to end, they jumped in and, and helped us. Um, I can't thank them enough for doing that. Uh, they were such a wonderful team to work with. Um, 
even the long hours and the hard work that they endured, they kept smiling, they kept their spirits up, and they also cooperated, I mean, wonderfully together. So um, again, I know <clears throat> I didn't have everyone listed, but we also had our temporary support staff. Um, again, jumping in, um, answering phones, helping customers uh, when needed, going back in the back and opening ballots or sorting. Um, I really want to thank them as well. And I really feel that um, everybody who helped us with this election should be extremely proud of the work we did and what we accomplished. Uh, it was a daunting task, um, but they did it with, you know, they, I just can't even <laughs> um, say enough how much uh, I appreciate what they did and how much they helped. So um, one of the things that we do is post-election certifications and audits. Uh, we collect, uh, we um, conducted our ver voter verified paper audit trail audit with our uh, accuracy certification board um, on, I believe it was Monday, June 15th, and no errors were found. Um, I just do, I think I had this on here. It might be later on. Um, our accuracy certification board is comprised of four members, and they are um, uh, Steve Davidek, uh, Norman Schiff, Jean Stos, and uh, Dave Harbeck. So per NRS, we did our post um, logic and accuracy testing as well. We ran all of our test decks through our scanners, again, to make sure that they were counting accurately. Um, the certification board, again, the members I mentioned, um, Gene was not able to make it, um, but every uh, the other three, Steve, uh, Norm, and, and Dave, were able to make it for that uh, verification process. Uh, we've also uh, processed and counted all of our provisional ballots and are included in the final results that we're distributing today. A reconciliation was complete with no unexplained errors, and the final abstracts have been printed and presented to you as well, and will be posted on our results dashboard. Um, they should be posting any time now. And so I quickly wanted to just run down my staff. Um, again, incredible people, very dedicated, very hardworking. Um, they make me proud. Um, I have Heather Carmen, who's the assistant registrar of voters. Uh, again, she's kind of my the other side of my brain. <laughs> she keeps me on track, um, but she also has her own workload um, that she manages and also helps um, helps the rest of the team stay on track. Um, she's she's a wonderful asset to our office. Kate Salim, who is our was our equipment and supply polling place manager, um, but she switched this time to be our absentee ballot coordinator because our um, prior coordinator for absentee ballots had. Um, resigned, so she actually stepped in and, and managed both. Luckily for her, we didn't have many polling locations to, <laughs> to man, um, but she learned that job and managed it ex you know, just perfectly. Um, I, you know, kudos to, to Kate for, for keeping up with both. It's really testament for her skills and, and her dedication. We have John Brown, who's our poll worker recruiter and trainer. Um, again, he was the one working on the Adopt a Polling Place program, coordinating all of our volunteers and our workers. Um, again, a lot, of, a lot of work goes into recruiting and, and maintaining um, you know, uh, information on our poll workers, where they're assigned, um, they're moving targets sometimes, so that's, it just takes a lot of um, tenacity <laughs> to keep up with that. Uh, Michael Chavez, he's our front office and correspondence manager. Again, making sure people are getting registered, their phone calls are being answered, our front staff, front desk um, and office staff, are, um, you know, have information that they need to help and assist our voters through um, just voter registration and voting. Um, so and then our newest member is Mike Mulraney. He's our just department system specialist. Um, he is our IT support for our office now. Um, he has learned a lot since he, he this is his first election. Um, I am so proud and, and really glad that uh, we hired him because he fits in perfectly with our staff. And he's also one of those go-getters who, when he sees something, he's on it. Um, and he won't stop until he figures it out. So that's, that's the attitude that we need in elections. Um, we do everything we can to make it happen. Uh, Brian Takamoto, he's kind of a staple around the county. Everybody knows Brian. And I always say he's responsible for everything. Um, pretty much, again, everything I, we ask him to do, he <clears throat> makes it happen somehow. Magic, I guess. Uh, and Dan Simpson from Technology Services. He has been helping us. This is, I believe, second election where he's been assisting us. Um, again, very happy with his knowledge of, of our equipment now and how things process. And um, there are ever, whenever we ask for assistance from him, he's there to help us. So 
uh, just such a wonderful team and so proud to have them on our, um, on our, our election team. Um, and a final thank you to the county manager's office uh, for their continued support of elections. Um, I saw Manager Brown out walking lines talking to voters. Uh, Christine uh, Vladich came down and opened ballots. Um, just their, you know, just being there, showing support for us and the staff, the other staff members, um, really helped keep up spirits and, and make it feel like we, you know, what we were doing was appreciated. Uh, communications team, of course, Nancy Lewenhagen and her team, um, especially Amy Ventitello, Ventitulo, and uh, Josh Andreasen, um, those two, or those three, really helped coordinate uh, media, made it a lot less hectic and chaotic, um, got information from us to pass on to media and our other uh, partners. Again, great, great um, team to work with and really assisted us getting word, the word out and um, getting information out to our voters. Um, and of course, I want to thank our voters for participating in our election. Um, that's the reason we're here, is to cast ballots for our voters and to make sure that they have a voice in, in, um, in our elections. Um, so that's, that's it for my presentation. I'm here for any questions that you may have. Thank you, Ms. Spicula. Um, commissioners, any questions uh, for our registrar of voters? There, there are none here. Are there any online? Uh, any of you guys up on the Zoom? No, 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 no for me, Madam Chair. All right, seeing no. Um, Madam, yes, sir. Madam Chair, forgive yes. me. Um, Commissioner Hartog. I just wanted to, to say thank you to the voter registrar's office. This was a challenging year and, and uh, they, they really had to learn on the fly and I, I just say well done. Thank you, Commissioner Hartung. You took the words right out of my mouth. That's what I was going to say, and I'll just say ditto. Thank you. Madam Vice Chair? Yes. Um, Nate Edwards here. Oh, um, hi, Nate. I have, a, I have a template that I was given um, through our office that I think Mr. Mr. Liberelli prepared um, a while back for handling these. It has a, a brief series of questions for uh, me to ask of the registrar on the record um, to round out the record for your canvas here this morning. And if the vice chair would entertain that, I think this would be an appropriate time. Certainly, um, Mr. Edwards, that would be perfect. Please go ahead. Thank you. Is the is uh, Ms. Spicula available as well? Yes, I'm available to answer those questions. Thank you. Uh, first question is, um, have you had the opportunity to review all of the election results? Yes. Uh, were there any errors noted in the election results? No. Were there any clerical errors that were discovered after your canvas of the results? No. Um, is there a need to make any changes based on your review um, of the results of the election? Uh, no, there is not. All right. Thank you, uh, Madam Vice Chair. Based on those answers, um, it's my legal opinion that the information you have is sufficient for the board this morning to declare the results of the election. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Edwards. We appreciate your time and um, certainly for providing those questions to clarify everything. All right, with that, I think we move on to the actual, um, uh, you have a rest of the, of the presentation on the actual canvas itself? Or it's just what we've provided. Okay, it will be provided? It's been provided. All right, good. Um, so we've asked for questions. Is there any, are there any public comments, Madam Clerk? I have none on this item, Madam Chair. Anything on Zoom? Okay, thank you very much. Great job. I, I, I've heard zero complaints, by the way. Everybody, and that's kind of unusual, you know, almost in every election. The, there are people calling the commissioners to register some kind of concern. Um, I did uh, get a call from a couple, of a couple of constituents in the Old Southwest who were worried about people being too close together and people carrying signs. And um, fortunately, our staff, Mr. Brown, got staff organized to get out and look, and everything was just fine. And everybody was gracious. And uh, so I'm very pleased with how it went also. I think very unique for us. 2020 will be a history book time yes. for us. <laughs> thank you very much, Deanna. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. Um, with that, I do. Do we need to take? We we need to take a vote to confirm. 
So I am looking for a motion to confirm that the commission supports the canvas of the votes and the election. So Madam, Madam Chair. Chair. Yes. Oh, oh. Uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Chair. This is Chairman, Chairman Lucy. Uh, I would make a motion that we accept the registrar of voters uh, this, uh, presentation of the 2020 uh, primary election vote results. Thank second. you. Okay, I have a motion and a second. Um, any other comments? All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, it looks like the motion carries. Um, with the two of us, uh, Commissioner Herman and myself voting here, and Chair Lucy, Commissioner Jung, and Commissioner Hartong voting on Zoom. Thank you very much. I appreciate it, and we will move on. Thank you. All right, thank you. Mr. Uh, Manager. Madam, yes. Madam Vice Chair, I do have one bit of input here at this point. Okay, thank you, Mr. Edwards. Yes, so the, the agenda is for the canvas and order under uh, NRS 293.387. So you have now canvassed um, the vote, and now the order part, I think, needs to take place, which is where the board orders uh, the creation of an abstract um, that the clerk enters in the minutes, um, and then that abstract and the report of it are sent on to the Secretary of State. So I think that that needs to be ordered by the commission. Thank you, um, Mr. Uh, Edwards. Does that need to be ordered by a vote of the full commission? Um, I believe it does. Okay, I'm looking for a motion to form the so abstract. Moved. Hartung. So moved with Commissioner Hartung. Do I have a second? Second. Okay, I have a motion and a second. Um, is there any public comment on the abstract? No, ma'am. Um, and nothing on Zoom? Okay, we will call for the vote. All those in favor signify, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, it looks like motion carries unanimously um, with Commissioner Herman and myself voting here in the chambers and Chair Lucy, Commissioner Jung, and Commissioner Hartung voting on Zoom. Thank you very much, and thank you, Ms. Spicula. All right, thank you. Mr. Manager, now we will move on to six. Item six is public comment. Comment heard under this item will be limited to three minutes per person and may pertain to matters both on and off the commission agenda. The commission will also hear public comment during individual action items with comment, comment limited to three minutes per person. Comments are to be made to the commission as a whole. Thank you, Mr. Manager. Madam Chair, I see that, I mean, Madam Clerk, I see that there is um, one person who has is listed and would like to probably have an email read in or have a voicemail, and that is Ms. Anne-Marie Grant. Correct, Madam Chair. I will read the email I just received. Anne-Marie Grant, sister of Thomas Purdy, murdered by means of asphyxiation. Oh, she. Murdered by means of asphyxiation by Washoe County deputies after being hogtied by Reno PD for 40 minutes. After sending public comment for over two years now, I'm going to say it's disappointing and telling how every single one of you chooses not to address the issues. My family is the one who lives every day knowing our loved one was killed and there will be no justice. You were played a short portion of my brother pleading for his life. I hear that every single moment of my waking hours. My father never should have settled with your county. You're lucky he's an 82-year-old senior citizen. My father didn't see the video. We wouldn't let him. We knew it, it would kill him. I don't want you to put yourself in my brother's shoes or my family's. I want you to all instead, to instead imagine that was your son, daughter, brother, or parent who died like my brother did. I hope you all decrease funding to the WCSO and put it towards community resources. As I stated in person, the community with the most cops are the best ones. It's the ones with the most resources for the community members. And that concludes um, Ms. Grant's comments. She is indicating to me via email that her brother left a voicemail. We will, so we will check on that. Okay.
Ready? Agenda item six, Daniel Purdy, brother of Thomas Purdy, killed at Washaw County Jail. My brother was smothered to death, and we recently had events with George Floyd. All I hear is social justice. When this is an issue about police brutality, which has been going on in your community for a long time now, instead of doing anything about it, you have chose to pay out lawsuits and defend dirty cops. I will do my best to make sure that none of you are re-elected to office. You do not represent the people, you're in for yourselves. Thank you. And I don't see any other email um, contacts for public comment okay. or notes about any phone calls. <laughs> okay, thank you, Madam Clerk. And I see there's nothing on Zoom either. All right, with that, we'll bring it back to the board and close public comment, and we'll move on to item seven, Mr. Manager. Item seven is commissioners and county managers announcements, reports, and updates to include boards and commission updates, requests for information or topics for future, future agendas. Mr. Manager, do you have anything? I have nothing um, at this time. Okay. Mr. Chair, do you have anything? I do not, Madam. Commissioner Jung? No, thank you, Madam Chairwoman. Thank you. Uh, Commissioner Hartung? Nothing, Madam Chair. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Uh, and I see there's no comments from either Ms. Herman or uh, Commissioner Herman or myself. And so with that, we will close item seven and we are adjourned. Thank you, everybody.